17,000 kilometers, or 10,500 miles if you prefer. That's the distance between the capital cities of New Zealand and Finland. These two countries located thousands of miles apart on opposite sides of the Earth seem to have little in common. While New Zealand is part of Polynesia in the South Pacific Ocean, Finland is one of the five Nordic countries in Northern Europe. New Zealand has warm summers and snowy winters, with July being the coldest month. But in Finland, winter is the longest season, and July the warmest month. While human settlement in Finland goes back 11,000 years, New Zealand has been inhabited for just 800 years. You see, New Zealand doesn't seem to have much in common with Finland, or any other Nordic country for that matter. However, this oceanic country has been repeatedly compared to Nordic countries. In fact, some experts even call it the Nordic country of the Southern Hemisphere. As it turns out, New Zealand has a lot in common with Finland, despite their geographical differences. From economic models to social policies, New Zealand shares some striking similarities with Finland and other Nordic countries. So, is New Zealand really a Nordic country? Let's find out. Let's start with some key economic parallels between New Zealand and Finland. All Nordic countries have a notable similarity in their economic models. They all have a mixed economic structure. A mixed economy relies on market fluctuations, but is also backed by government interventions. With a mixed economic model, the economy blooms when the market booms. But at the same time, government intervention ensures social well-being during unfavourable market conditions. Guess what? Like most Nordic countries, New Zealand has a mixed economy. Another striking economic similarity between New Zealand and Nordic countries is how the two groups invest in innovation. In 2022, the Oceanic nations spending on research and development across all sectors reached a whopping 5.2 billion. That was 1.47% of its GDP. In the same year, Finland spent 7.9 billion euros, or 3% of its GDP, on R&D projects in 2022. These figures show how the two countries share a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. But it doesn't end here. New Zealand is similar to Nordic countries in one of the most important measures of overall development, the Human Development Index. The Human Development Index considers three factors to measure overall human development. Life expectancy, access to knowledge, and standard of living. In the latest HDI data from 2022, all Nordic countries rank among the top. Norway, Iceland, Denmark, and Sweden rank among the top five, while Finland lags just a little behind at 12. New Zealand follows these countries by taking the 16th position. You see, New Zealand shares not only the economic model, but also the overall human development levels with the Nordic countries. Now, let's zoom out a bit and see the two regions through some key demographic, social, and economic indicators. The average population of the five Nordic countries is about 5.6 million in 2024. Interestingly, New Zealand's population figure is surprisingly comparable at 5.2 million. Also, New Zealand's real GDP figure based on purchasing power parity stands at $285 billion, but in Finland the corresponding GDP figure is greater at $318 billion. Due to the similar population sizes of the two countries, the per capita GDPs of the two countries follow a similar trend. While New Zealand's per capita GDP is $54,000 based on purchasing power parity, Finland's per capita GDP is greater at $61,000. In other words, the average Finnish citizen earns about $6,000 more than the average New Zealander in a year. However, calculating income levels solely based on per capita GDP can be a bit misleading. This is because per capita GDP only shows the average income level, but in reality, the incomes of different people within a country can vary drastically. This income inequality is measured using a metric called the Gini coefficient. It measures income inequality on a scale of 0 to 1. A score of 0 indicates absolute income equality, meaning everyone earns the same amount of money every year. On the flip side, a score of 1 means absolute inequality, where one person earns all the country's money while all others earn nothing at all. 
according to Eurostat, Finland's Gini coefficient in 2023 was about 0.27, indicating a low level of income inequality. However, the Gini coefficient in New Zealand stood around 0.36 reflecting a low overall income inequality, but somewhat higher than in Finland. Well, income levels are not the only metric where Finland outshines New Zealand. Finland performs better in many other social and economic indicators, such as happiness and environment performance. According to the World Happiness Report, Finland is hands down the happiest country in the world. The other Nordic countries closely follow, with Denmark being the second, Iceland the third, Sweden the fourth, and Norway the seventh happiest country in the world. When it comes to New Zealand, it is not far from the Nordic countries, with a rank of 11 on the World Happiness Index. Finally, in the Environment Performance Index, Finland secures the third spot, but New Zealand ranks much lower at the 26th position. The similarities between the two countries are not limited to hardcore economic metrics. The countries also share some progressive social policies that shape the living conditions of their citizens. These policies form the core of the Nordic model. All Nordic countries, including Finland, are popular for the people-centric social policies they offer to their citizens. Remarkably, New Zealand shares many of these social policies, similar to the ones in Nordic nations. For example, Nordic countries offer both parents long and generous paid leaves. Parents can cumulatively avail paid leaves up to 320 working days after the baby's birth. New Zealand also offers paid parental leaves, though the leaves are comparatively less generous, with parents getting 26 weeks of paid leaves once the baby is born. That's not all. Besides paid parental leave, Nordic countries also have supportive worker rights. There are effective labour laws, unemployment benefits and collective bargaining rights. New Zealand is on par with Nordic countries in this regard. It also has effective labour laws, fair pay agreements and unemployment benefits. Similarly, when it comes to healthcare, Nordic countries like Finland shine because of their universal healthcare system that is financed mainly by taxes. Therefore, patients can enjoy very low and even free treatments at publicly owned hospitals. New Zealand also offers universal healthcare, although its healthcare system contains both private and public hospitals. As a result, patients opting for private treatment or insurance often have to pay higher costs. With such similarities, it's safe to say that the South Pacific Island country is a low-key version of its Nordic European counterparts. But here comes the burning question, why? Well, the socio-economic similarities between New Zealand and Nordic countries are the effects of a deeper similarity. It's the core values New Zealand shares with the Nordic countries. Let's briefly look at five of these shared values. Like all Nordic countries, New Zealand stands firm on its belief in egalitarianism, which is reflected in its constitutional framework and social policies. Income inequality levels in New Zealand are much lower than those in developed countries and its social system also favours equality. Gender equality also goes up to the topmost tiers of these governments. In fact, both New Zealand and Finland have had women leaders as prime ministers in the form of Jacinda Ardern and Sanna Marin, respectively. Similarly, social welfare in New Zealand is in an impressive condition, just as in Nordic countries. We have discussed the healthcare system in the two regions, and the education system is no exception to these similarities. Both New Zealand and the Nordic nations focus on social welfare, paving the way to accessible healthcare, quality education, and special support schemes for vulnerable groups, like children and the elderly. Next comes environmentalism, which in another core aspect in which New Zealand shines with Finland and other Nordic countries. The island country aims to reach net zero carbon emissions for all greenhouse gases except methane by 2030. Moreover, the country also plans to make its electricity production 100% renewable by 2030. This is very similar to what's happening in the Nordic region. Finland aims to go carbon neutral by 2035 and plans to make the share of renewable energy sources from 40% to 50% of end user consumption by 2030. Besides Finland, other Nordic countries have made similar targets for environmental conservation, sustainable practices and renewable energy. 
Apart from these values, the two regions also share a very important value that makes their processes very efficient, trust and transparency. According to Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index, New Zealand, Finland and other Nordic countries are some of the least corrupt nations in the world. New Zealand ranks at number 3, just below Finland, while Denmark ranks at the top. These countries enjoy the trust of the people and have strong, corruption-free institutions that effectively work towards fulfilling their goals. These shared values are the true reasons New Zealand and Nordic countries have so much in common. But then again, do these similarities make New Zealand a true Nordic country of the South? We leave that answer to you. Tell us in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We keep coming up with such interesting economic explainers. We'll see you in another video.